Welcome to the simulation of our lab 3 as a part of our course of FPGA VHDL lecture series. This was the code that we wrote for which select statement in our lab 3. So today we'll write a test bench for this code. Test bench is nothing but a program that will check our code and here we can specify the inputs that we want. So, right now to create a new test bench, we right click on our project, add a new source, call it as a VHDL test bench, give it some name. As a convention, I give the project name underscore TB. Click on next, next, finish. So here we are welcomed by the same test bench window that we usually get when we create a new test bench. A lot of lines of code have already been written for us by the software. In our original code, we didn't have to bother about clock as our digital logic was not a clocked logic. The first step before starting the test bench would be to click on the simulation button on the top left hand corner. The next step would be to remove all the clock statements from the test bench. So here line number 66 has a clock statement on it. Let us remove that then line number 80 to 87 is not required and line number 89 also is not required. So as we saw in the VHDL code that we have A, B, C, D as inputs and control signal as an input whereas Z is the only output. So in a test bench we are allowed to initialize or change all the inputs and watch the output. So let me initialize the inputs as 1 These are any random values given. Our control signal is a vector of 2 bits. So we have to initialize it with 2 bits. For example, let me first initialize it with the number 00. zero. Then let me wait for 10 nanoseconds. The wait for 10 nanoseconds can be used only in the test bench and not in the original VHDL code. Now let us change the control signal to say 0, 01. Remember these are all digital signals so they must be enclosed in double quotes. Then we again wait for 10 nanoseconds. Change the control signal again. make it 1 0 maybe wait for 10 nanoseconds again make the control signal 1 1 now so this is it we have initialized the inputs and we are changing control signal Now let us go ahead and save this, then do a behavioral check syntax. Our check syntax is done. Now let us simulate our behavioral design and see if the results are as per required. So when the control signal is 0, 0, the output must be same as A. When it is 0, 1, same as B. 
one zero same as C, and otherwise D. So here we go and zoom out of our window until we get a manageable scroll bar down here. And here clearly we can see that our output initially after the hundred nanosecond delay was one. This is same value as A. So our output Z acquired the same values of A when the control signal was zero zero. When zero one the output acquired same value as B. One zero the same value as C. When it was one one it acquired the value of D. Thus we know that our logic works and the simulation has proved that the with select statement that we have done in lab 3 simulation is working successfully and the hardware implemented is correct.